I want to actually review what we covered with projectile motion today and go into a little bit of detail that I didn't get a chance to cover in class, but it works basically like this. I've got a projectile, and let's say it's got an initial speed of 30 meters per second, and let's say that I launch it at an angle of 30 degrees. It turns out with this information alone, I can tell you how high it goes, how long it spends in the air, and how far it travels horizontally. And what we're going to do is we're going to come up with the formulas for each of these three quantities. Now I'm going to summarize the formulas right now and then I'm going to use the IB equations modified from the data booklet to come up with those formulas. So once every few years they actually have you do that on IB papers. What you want to memorize for the test though are the following formulas. The height is given by u squared sine squared theta over 2g. The hang time is given by this formula, 2u sine theta, where u is the launch speed. And the horizontal range is given by the initial speed squared times the sine of 2 times the angle divided by g. So these are the three formulas that you actually need to know for the IB exam and you'll need to know for the IB papers and you'll actually need to know them for the um, exam that we're having on September, I believe it's 14th. What I'm going to do now for the rest of this video is come up with the formulas using these equations, modified data booklet equations to help us. So the first thing is u is split into components and using the vector uh, idea using using the fact that this is a vector look at the previous video above this one on the haiku page to understand what we're doing so u y is going to be u sine of theta and u x is going to be u cosine of theta and we're going to use that to come up with the vector equations now so u x is u cosine theta u y is u sine theta that's the launch speed split into the x part and the y part now we're going to use this to calculate the maximum height. Now the data booklet formula tells us we don't have time, so I'm going to use the data booklet formula that has no time in it. And this is the formula it gives us, and unfortunately that's just not very helpful. We need to actually change this to be useful in the y direction. So we know that there's a y speed, we know that there's an initial y launch speed. Now the acceleration is downwards due to gravity. And this S is actually the height that we climb up to um, on, on the projectile. Now at the very top, the Y speed is zero because it doesn't go any higher. UY is this U sine theta, so we square the U and we square the sine squared theta plus two negative G times H. And now let's do a little bit of algebra here. I'm gonna actually add two GH to both sides, so I'll get two GH is U squared sine squared of theta and then I can actually divide both sides by 2g to isolate the h that I'm solving for. So again, to summarize, if I launch a projectile at a given speed, I can calculate its height from this formula. In fact, just to show you, suppose the launch speed is 30 meters per second and the angle's 30, I can go ahead and actually plug that in here. So the example uh, that I gave you before you can actually go ahead and say, well, h is 30 squared times the sine squared of 30 divided by 2, g is 10. And when we actually saw this is going to be 900, sine of 30 is 1 half. When we square that, that's going to be 1 fourth divided by 20. So this is going to be 9 times 25 divided by 20. And this is going to be 9 times 5 fourths. And that's going to be 45 divided by 4. So 1, 1, point two five. so 11, so if I'm working with the sig figs that I have here, I need to write 11 meters high, but it's actually 11.25 meters if we're just going for decimals. All right, next we're told that we want to get the hang time, and we actually did derive the correct formula. Now to get the hang time, so let's again go to a data booklet formula. The data booklet says V equals UT, sorry, AT plus U. 
true but not useful. We need to adapt this for this very problem here. So we know we have Vy equals negative g, because it's downwards acceleration, times t plus uy. Now let's be clear. I'm saying that I climb up to the top and then go back down to the ground. And I want to be clear that the time that I'm solving for is the time to get up here, which is one half of the total time. So when I solve for little t here, I'm going to end up doubling that. So I have 0 is negative g times t plus v naught sine theta. I'm going to isolate t, and I'm going to get v naught sine theta divided by g. So the total hang time is double of that, the trip up and the trip down. So it's going to be 2 v naught sine theta divided by g. Once again, I can actually get the hang time by plugging in the formula. It'll be 2 equals, uh, t equals 2 times 30 times the sine of 30 divided by 10. And that actually ends up being 3 seconds when I plug it in. All right. Now, lastly, we want to know how to get the maximum horizontal, or get the value of the horizontal distance. So here we go. In the x direction, we don't have any acceleration. So the x formula is simply given by u in the x direction times t. And this t is the total hang time. So in other words, the horizontal range is going to be u cosine theta. And t ends up being u sine of theta, 2u sine of theta divided by g. Now there's quite a bit of trig here um, that we can use to simplify. I'll just say this, after doing trig, we're going to get that the range is u squared sine of 2 theta divided by g. Again, using the numbers that they give us, I could actually say that the range r is 30 squared times the sine of 2 times 30 divided by 10. When I actually simplify this, I'm going to end up getting something like 78 meters. So that's a brief presentation of how we come up with the three formulas that we use in IB physics for projectile motion.